this video is to show you what's going on here only. You might get killed later on after watching it. The responsibility is strictly of the killers. And uh, and this production of the muta of, of a certain mutation only when they need it, when they need such certain mutations. This is called I don't know if this is new. This is called directed mutation, and it has nothing to do with creationism or religion or whatever. This is direct mutation, and it has been proven while random mutation hasn't. You know, this shows that mutations are indeed directed and reacted by the environment. You know, the organism reacts to the environment. You know, the DNA, it's not only smart, you know, in the, in the you know, in the capability of uh, uh, replicating itself and reproducing, it also has uh, intelligence, you know, in, uh, in reacting to the environment, you know. In, the, in producing mutations, you know, beneficial and directed mutations for a certain uh, problem that the organism encounters in the environment to st uh, you know to suit its needs, you know, the need the needs of the organism, you know, shows that the basic theory of Jean Baptiste Lamarck, which Darwin was a big fan by the way, was correct. Okay. Uh, the theory of Jean Baptiste Lamarckism is the, you know, the actual theory of evolution, you know, the theory that has been proven. Actually, it's the hypothesis that had become, you know, uh, a theory. Because uh, it's important to know the difference between, uh, you know, uh, a scientific theory and a hypothesis. A scientific theory is something, uh, you know, uh, a conceptual, you know. Interpretation of the facts, you know, and it, that's exactly what Lamarckism is interpretation of the facts, and it has been proven. And the new Darwinism, you know, about the old random thing has not been proven. So here we, we have uh, new uh, new Darwinism, you know, just falsified by 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 the by evidence, you know, by by proof, and uh, here we have Lamarckism. Actually, if you you know, in the mainstream media, if you look for Lamarckism, you will you'll find that um, you know it's it's not very popular. It's not very popular because uh, it brings it opens up a lot of doors, like quantum. You know, what's the quantum you know role in the you know in living organisms and stuff? So it's not very popular, at least uh, yeah, at least you know in the mainstream media. So they try to falsify it. For example, by saying that, uh, you know, okay, first let me tell what's um, Lamarckism. You know, Lamarckism in, this, in essence, it's a change in the environment that brings about change in needs, resulting in change in behavior, bringing change in organ, organs, organ usage and development, bringing change in form over time and thus gradual transmutation of the species. Okay, that's, 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 uh, Lamarckism in, in a nutshell, you know. So uh, because of that, they say because uh, in Lamarckism, you know, every individual, you know, gains knowledge, you know, uh, through its senses and stuff, through behavior and stuff, because of the environment, because of the environment gains uh, experience and its experience passed on, and over time, over large periods of time. Uh, those experiences, those behaviors will turn into memes and uh, into memes they will turn into instincts like for example like the instincts that we see in the animal kingdom and the instincts that we have today but uh, in the uh, in the popular science they try to falsify the theory by saying that uh, for example like when you're playing things like basic things like playing with your kids are not passed on but those things are uh, relatively recent activities like writing, like tying something and stuff and so those things are not seen in uh, instincts as of yet so uh, instead of, uh, of this process, of this mechanism they came, they came with the Baldwin effect which is just uh, another version of the random thing applied to behavior and it is the same thing so uh, 
Lamarckism has been proven, and uh, Darwinism has not. So that's uh, my explanation here on evolution. Hope that it was insightful and stuff. Hope that uh, you know it shed some light, you know, on the whole thing. And uh, yeah, this this is my first vlog and stuff. You know, um, that's why I'm using a ninja mask and stuff. But uh, for uh, you know, for obvious reasons, I'm using a mask and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I'll be talking more and stuff. Take care.